Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got the team of the year attackers today, the full team announced, and more content in FIFA on honestly kind of a lackluster day of team of the year. Like the, I think I would honestly call it one of the worst starts to team of the year that we ever had, like a first day of team of the year. So we'll talk about that, talk about why it wasn't the best. The cards aren't as upgraded as I think we would have liked to see, which is the biggest unfortunate thing for you guys in the higher tier budgets. But the market has risen incredibly, right? We have a crazy market rise going on, which is what we expected with all of the packs being opened and all of those saved up packs, especially not all of them, but a lot of saved up packs being opened a lot of lightning rounds and of course prices rising on the out of pack specials and specifically the icon market is sky high right now in fifa so i want to take a look at these three cards of course we kind of figured we were getting attackers today and i want to show you what happened with these guys prices just like other first day promo cards these guys uh were very expensive to start with they dropped down and they have rebounded since right this mbappe has had the biggest rebound the blue hair of course kind of um in the dynamic image showing a lot of people, you know, really hyped about that dynamic image. But uh, Mbappe today was started in like the 8 to 9 mil range, dropped down to the 6.6. .6. It says 6.6. He was actually 6.4 mil at his absolute lowest and bounced all the way back up over 7.2 million coins on the PlayStation. So a big bounce there on the Xbox. He was down at 5.5. And it looks like he went back to around 5.8. But a huge bounce on Mbappe. That happened on Lewandowski and, and CR7 as well. CR7 was down at 8.2 mil. Now back up to 8.8. .8. Lewandowski was, I think, 2.7. And went back up a little bit over... Uh, he was down to 2.7 or 2.8, I believe. And now he's 3.1 mil. You've seen these cards rebound. But honestly, the number one thing that surprised a lot of people and it surprised me as well on this game today was the supply. These team of the year cards have so much supply. It is unreal. Now, of course, that supply is kind of dry, drying up right now as um, a lot of these cards are, um, you know, the market's kind of going to sleep a little bit. There's not as much people on the game because it is a little bit later at night. But there were 35 pages of this Lewandowski card um, when I searched his supply. 30, Yes, that's correct. There were 35 pages of Lewandowski team of the years on the market earlier today 35 that is no joke right now it looks like he's simmered down a bit and that's why you see his price going up um, because it is a little bit more at nighttime now the, su uh, the supply is less as people are using this card in the game but it was a crazy amount of Lewandowski's that might be one of the cheapest team of the year cards we've ever had first day and that's one thing that is even even crazy about like the Cristiano Ronaldo um, card that we got today even he had multiple pages of supply on the market today, which was wild because we're not used to that. Now it's kicking me out of Ultimate Team, which is very nice. But uh, the supply today on these new Team of the Year cards was crazy, which also has us thinking, what's going to happen when the uh, midfielders come into packs on Sunday? Because the new way that EA is doing this is they're not going one day attackers, one day midfielders, one day defenders. They're going two days attackers. So that means we're probably going two day attacker, two day midfielder, two days for the defenders in packs. So we won't be looking at getting the entire team of the year in packs until Thursday, until Thursday, man, we're not going to get these guys all in packs until Thursday. As you can see, team of the attackers are now available for one day, 19 hours. The only thing I could maybe see them changing is if they put like defenders and midfielders in packs at the same time, but I doubt they'll do that. So we're looking at honestly Thursday for the whole team in packs, which would make me think that this would be a two week team of the year uh, with the full team in packs for hopefully a week. Um, in my opinion, that would be the way that I think they should do it if they wanted to, you know, get the most money out of this promo that they could as a company, but we will see what happens so again today at 6 p.m or sorry yesterday i guess for the guys that are in the eu friday 6 p.m uk when the content dropped there was no sbcs that were released there was one objective and of course we saw the team of the year cards that were released now this suarez objective isn't too bad i think it takes you like 14 games at the absolute minimum my only slight pet peeve with this ea when you're upgrading a special card I know 79 pace might seem to make sense, but 80 pace is so much better and so much more people would like if it was 80 pace in the Suarez. You're probably going to throw an engine or a hunter on him anyways. Not a bad card though. Four star, four star, like Suarez of old. 
um, that is a decent card right there. And then I want to talk about the SBC content because at 6 p.m. UK when the content dropped, we had no SBCs. But an hour and a half after the promo started, we had this Franck Ribéry that was dropped. Now, one thing I want to talk about this, it's out for 41 days. This card's going to be in the SBC section for a long time freaking time it's going to be here for a long time and of course when ea drops an sbc like this and they're going to put it out for 41 days kind of like they put Firmino out for like a month or something uh this guy is expensive right he's expensive right now but i honestly think this might be one of the most the cheapest times to actually do his card because sbc fodder has dropped a lot because of all the packs that were open as you can see ribbery's coming in at about eight hundred and eighty thousand coins on the market five star five star left wing French, of course, that might affect, uh, you know, like Neymar's price, other high tier left wings coming out of this weekend league a little bit. I feel like this is an SBC though, that most people are going to craft for their teams uh, during team of the year upgrade packs or something like that. But the, me the, the reason why I was saying SBC fodder is so down, take a look at this Bruno Fernandez. This guy was 1.15 million coins to do just yesterday on the market now he is under a million coins so he's dropped over a hundred k in value to to do this bruno uh, fernandez player of the month i did expect sbc fodder to drop it which was why i was not a fan of you know investing in that stuff um before team of the year and as you can see a lot of these cards are down right 84s are at 5,000 coins 86s are at 10k 11k uh, or sorry, 85s or 10k, 11k, 86s are at 20,000 coins. So a lot of people are going to start buying into um, these fodder cards on the game. Uh, I'll talk about index icon in a second, but take a look at the index 85, right? Big time drop off. It was a little bit lower. This is probably going to start creeping back up as we head into Saturday, as people realize, hey, these SBC fodder cards are very, very cheap. And that's going to make people want to get into them and possibly invest in them with more lightning rounds coming today, though. We'll have to keep an eye on that for sure. Um, but I think SBC fodder stays decently low throughout the rest of the week, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, and how I think that's going to work out. But it's not going to be a bad time to do an SBC if it does come out. But of course, when we're in this time of the year, uh, EA knows they can get away with putting out a big SBC like Ribéry and making it very expensive because people have a lot of coins now after opening packs and stuff like that. One thing I will note is today we had the attackers in packs. We had the SBC Ribéry, which was an attacker, and we had the objective Suarez, which was also an attacker so it's making us think that we might be getting like people have mentioned that uh flashback conte card right if that kind of thing was going to come it might be on sunday or monday when the midfielders are in packs maybe a defender like a flashback boateng could come later in the week when the defenders are in packs so just kind of thinking through that kind of logic right there that might be when we see those sbcs coming later this week but in total on fifa to be honest boys this team of the year it feels a little bit kind of underwhelming and again if we take a look uh at cristiano ronaldo's 98 rated card i mean i think for all the team years past cristiano ronaldo's team of the year has been a 99 right 99 in fifa 20 he had a 99 in fifa 19 a 99 in fifa 18 fifa 17 you know fifa 16 is the last time they had a 98 rated team of the year card um, so we're really confused on why EA did not go all out with the upgrades. And if you compare this team of the year item of Ronaldo to his last year's team of the year item, his last year item with, uh, had basically the same stats up top, but the passing and the physical are the biggest differences. This guy in FIFA last year, FIFA 20 had 95 passing and 95 physical. That's, that's a huge downgrade on this card this year. And of course, if team of the year is living up to what it actually is, the team of the year, then these cards should have the best stats of any cards in this game. Now, I know they say maybe team of the season's coming down the line or whatever, but for me, I think team of the year should be higher rated than team of the season. So I'm a little bit, I think people on the high tier market were a bit displeased with the Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Lewandowski because they, they thought Mbappe could have been 98 and then these two should have been 99 with bigger stat boosts. So that was a bit underwhelming today. And I think that's why you're seeing the market perform so well as well is because um, people just said, yes, yeah, screw this. The start to team of the year is not that good, not that hype. And they went out and just bought other cards that they wanted to use 
in their teams. Also, when the Team of the Year first came out, they didn't have dynamic images in the game, so that was kind of an L in itself anyway. But let's talk about the market because a lot of stuff went crazy today. A ton of stuff went crazy. Now, when they announced the team that was out in packs this morning, um, Mbappe's gold card, of course, people knew it was going out of packs. Cristiano's gold card, they knew it was going out of packs because they expected the attackers today, which is what happened. And these cards absolutely flew. Now, I had mentioned to you guys that I thought, thought that these cards were not going to be able to be staying this high in price um, or, or their price. I thought they were going to be dropping a little bit more even to what they were last week after this weekend league. Well, this is one of the things that I think in this learning scenario for what this market has been over the past three weeks. I think a lot of us got accustomed to seeing Mbappe down here at 900,000 coins or a little bit under 900K because if we think about this, literally, uh, what was this? The early December, right? A month and a month and a half ago, this Mbappe card was 1.3 million coins. Basically, since we've gotten down here to the end of December, I think I just forgot to realize and we forgot to realize that so many people have not been they've been waiting to buy Mbappe they've been waiting to buy Neymar they've been waiting to buy Cristiano Ronaldo and that's why you're seeing such a huge huge buyback on these cards now my point still stands and I still think it's very true that more people than ever have these cards in their team untradeable these guys are supplied more than they have ever been in any FIFA before I still hold to that point and I still believe that that is true but that's why you saw such a huge rise on these today is because all the coins that came onto the market and just we kind of forgot about all the people that were just waiting since the end of December or middle of December to buy these cards back. And once they saw, of course, that, that Mbappe was in team of the year, they knew his gold card was going out of packs. They went and bought in those cards. So that's the one point today where I feel like I kind of missed the boat with the market. And I feel like I kind of got that part wrong. Um, also with the current team of the week, team week 17, I mentioned that those were cards that I might be interested in flipping today. Now they are starting to rebound a little bit after all the supply, but I think that so many people today were looking to trade with these items because they weren't sure what was going on with the rest of the market. And they wanted to just get involved with some of these new team of the week items that were in packs because they knew that they would be good flips. There's some popular cards in here, right? Cause that's what also happened last year. Um, but a lot of these cards are not rebounding super well at the moment. This Ben Yedder 87 card is 465,000 coins on the market, except that actually looks incorrect because I'm not finding any here at 470 or 480. So it looks like these guys are bouncing back a little bit right now. Uh, Pogba was below 500,000 coins and Ben Yedder was, I, I believe, was at about 440 or 430. So it looks like we do have some bounce back, which is nice. Yeah, Ben Yedder is actually, uh, Ben Yedder is 500K, so he's bouncing back very very nicely. Footpin has not updated to, to show that yet, but um, that I think on the lower tier, I was looking at Ndombele today and that card really just wasn't going to have the bounce back that I think it could. It's just too low tier of a card, right? Ndombele right now is how many thousand coins? It looks like he's in like 35, 36,000 coins, which is, um, you know, this guy just had so much supply today that, you know, Yetter and Pogberg are going to be the ones that bounce back the most. Also, right? Since we didn't have a lot of hype content, we didn't see too much panic selling, but there was some panic selling right before 6 p.m. UK that you could have capitalized on. And if you bought meta out of packs cards, not just from this team of the week, um, but of course, you look at some of the headliner prices, right? Sun was 1.05 mil. Teo Hernandez, of course, is up a lot because of the Ribery link, but Oop Meccano is up 30K. Diego Carlos is up about 20,000 coins. Um, Lozano is up 50k. He's at 700,000 coins right now. Some of the other headliners, um, Felix is up. Ben Yedder is up 100k. Zaha is up 70k. Bamba is up a lot. A lot of the meta cards that we talked about probably rising today definitely did rise. I want to look at freeze cards, right? I was a big fan of these. These guys exploded today. Lautaro Martinez back over 300k. Mane was 1.85. He's back to 2.1. Um, Verratti is even up like 15, 20k. Bernardo Silva is up 50k. This Usman Dembele is one card that I want to show you. This guy, I was watching him on stream, and I should have went with my gut feeling, man. Right when there was no content released, 
I went back to the market and started searching up all of these special cards because I knew that people were just going to start buying this stuff back. This Rashford was 960 this morning. You know, he didn't have a crazy high bounce back. He's at like 1.05 right now. So that's up 90K. Um, Alan St. Maxman was about 940 at his lowest. This Dembele was 1.13 and is now 1.25. That was my biggest L of the day was not buying that uh, Dembele card. Um, and some of the icons as well that I did not buy, Blanc for 1.085 is now going for 127. Harry Kane record breaker, I, uh, there was a couple of them under 1.1 mil, and now this dude is back up at 1.2 almost. Um, so a lot of the really rare cards, I mean, you know, sometimes you just have to have a learning experience and you have to learn the hard way and watch the cards go up and you didn't buy and you kind of learn the best by saying, hey, all right. This is what I learned today. I didn't buy Cannavaro at 737, and now the dude is back up over 800K. So I should have bought him there. Obviously, could have made good profit on that. This is one of those days where you just learn a lot. And when you see the market go up like this, you're going to learn a lot from it, right? Bruno Fernandez, 445,000 coins. I, I'm pretty sure this guy is almost 500K. I'm pretty sure this first informed Bruno, Bruno is back to almost 500K. Yeah, 490 right there. So a huge huge market rise. This card, right, was 1.35 mil when they announced the team of the year. I went quick to the market and didn't buy the one at 1.35. It's not on my transfer targets anymore, but I didn't buy a Messi at 1.35. It was there. And now the dude is 1.5 mil because he didn't get into team of the year. So a lot of learning, right? A lot of learning happened today, especially just knowing when to trust your gut and when to actually buy cards. I bought this drug by 1.3, which was really not a good deal in the moment. I did get a nice sale at 137, so I made like 7K profit. Um, but, you know, I was upset with myself today, boys. I was upset on the live stream. You probably weren't able to tell. But I was upset because I did not have as good of a day as I wanted to. Because this is a big promo Friday, right? With all those coins coming in, with the market looking like it is. You wanted to have a good day, right? You wanted to make a lot of coins, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did, right? But I was not happy with myself. I did not perform to the level that I wanted to perform to today, and that just drives me more. And that's the one thing I want to talk about to end this video is how you're gonna how are you gonna frame things, right? A lot of you guys might be a little upset that Neymar is up to 730,000 coins, or Mbappe is up so far, and you didn't have a chance to get in, right? I know, I know the feeling. I get the feeling, but. You know, other things, you just kind of have to frame it in your mind in a different way. Use that as a motivating factor to try to trade and to make more coins and to get better and not sit and be sorry and, and feel bad about not making the moves or not performing as well as you wanted to. So um, that is the one thing that I want to take away as something from today. And one thing that we can do to kind of bounce back from that is if you want to do upgrade packs during team of the year, the Premier League rares today, they're literally back to discard. A lot of these were a thousand coins. So let's say you want to make a bounce back move. Get on the open bids. Get on the open bids for, for rare cards because these guys are back down at discard during lightning rounds after being very, very inflated. Now, I mean, if you're somebody who's just going to be going on assignment to do packs, then that's an investment you can make. Uh, or if you want to bid and, and stock uh, SPC fodder in the club, that is something uh, that you can do as well. But I just want to kind of put that mindset out there because that is something I think is very, very important. I think that, um, you know, the mind game, especially in the FIFA trading zone with the market um, and how you view things that happen inside of FIFA is so big, right? I'm always positive. I'm always trying to stay positive. But sometimes like today, some things don't go the best, right? A lot of you guys are like, yo, Nate, what do you mean, man? I made so many freaking coins today, flipping cards or whatever. Like, GG's. Like, G freaking G's. I'm glad that you had a good day. Or like, I packed, I packed Team of the Year CR7 or whatever, you know? But you can take the losses and turn them into knowledge, right? Because that knowledge can turn that loss next time into a gain. Uh, and that can be, you know... The difference between you making coins and achieving your goal in FIFA and maybe not. So that's what I want to kind of encourage you guys with today as I talked about the content for sure. It was kind of a downer start to Team of the Year. It was kind of a downer start, uh, but hopefully EA bounces back very soon with a good Saturday of content and beyond. So that's the video for today, boys. I'll have one coming tomorrow morning as well, but I wanted to get this one out just to talk about the market being crazy high and to cover what happened with Team of the Year on Friday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out.